Hello and welcome to the 24 laps of Le Mans. <laughs> we uh, are doing just a special event hosted by Nick Nieben of Nieben 5. It is inspired by the 24 hours of Le Mans. That's how you say it, right? I'm sorry. I'm uncultured. But <laughs> um, 24 laps instead of 24 hours here and in NASCAR vehicles. So we've got, it looks like a, a nice even spread of trucks, Xfinity, and the next gen. All clear. Punch it. Oh, group qualifying. That's cool. I guess that might be how they actually do it. So um, we're going to jump out here, get some qualifying done. Okay, so yeah, that was intentional. Um, so in real life, we've got the uh, special next-gen car participating in the real world 24 hours of Le Mans. So we are doing a special event here, kind of inspired by that, and by the fact that we can now have up to nine, I believe, cars in one session with multi-class. Which is enough for all the uh, top three NASCAR race cars. So just a, a fun event put together here. For all those reasons. And for this event, I actually had to buy this track and am uh, still learning it. So, I'm hoping I don't make any terrible mistakes. And don't forget where I am on track. I did, I did a lot of practice because I don't want to be out here being a complete weapon. It's like the Xfinity car is going to be plenty fast. Can't quite keep up with that. But that's to be expected. I, of course, as you probably saw, and it have a... Uh, chosen the truck. I am most familiar with the truck on road courses. So that's uh, what helped my decision there. Plus a little bit of practice. Road course racing in this thing for mid-Ohio which is coming up. So the more uh, left and right turns I can make in the track the better I think. For getting comfortable. It might be tough for me to talk too much, because it's a long course, and I just bought it today. So I, I have to use a lot of brain power to remember where I am and how to get around this place safely. So pardon me if there are ever any long pauses during this video. There are some decently long straightaways. Maybe I can uh, update on my thoughts. But otherwise, I'm going to be thinking about what corner's coming up next, because I might not remember. Feeling good, though. This is actually a pretty fun course once I got uh, to learning it. There's only a couple spots here that I'm actually going to be shifting down to first. Because we're going to be out here for a long time, I want to take care of the rear tires a bit. So that's one of the few spots I'll actually be shifting to first gear. Otherwise, probably going to ease on to throttle a lot of the time. Not overdrive it if I can avoid doing so. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was a little bit unsettled. Still learning how far I can push, or how far I should not push. This is just the outlap, so maybe I shouldn't be pushing at all right now. Oh, I overdrove that really bad. We're good though, kept it on the track. Okay, this is the first lap that's going to count so long as I can keep it on the on the track. 
it knows zero X or more. There's a lot of parts on this uh, on this course where the truck can get just really unsettled, almost out of nowhere. That's kind of just a uh, stock car on road course thing, though. I think not uh, really anything about this combo specifically. So I'm gonna have to watch out for that, being uh, very conscious of how much throttle I'm putting into it. As for setup, I'm actually uh, reusing Daniel's setup from Coda with a gear change based on uh, some feedback that was being given in the Discord. People talking about what gear ratio they were going with, and I kind of experimented with that a little bit. So I appreciate uh, everybody who made their feedback there public, I guess. And uh, of course, to Daniel, I'm getting uh, twice the value out of this setup, I guess. <laughs> Two for the price of one, am I right? We'll be able to get a couple laps in because it looks like we got about 15 minutes worth of qualifying to do. There are times where I might be able to shift to first gear and get a little bit more out of it, but I just I get so unsettled when I do that. Just don't think it's worth it. My main goal here is to stay on track. This is a long race. Here's like the not talking I was mentioning not always going to be easy to actually speak but um, long race so just staying on course is going to be very important because you destroy your car you're kind of done so that's going to be important I actually have really enjoyed learning this place my first time here very visually nice track all these trees to look at. We got next gen behind us, I gotta worry about. Just gonna hold my line. Right side. Keep to the left. Clear on the right. Alright, should be good. come to really like this section. I, I tend to like the, the faster speed, like S sections on courses. It's kind of what we have going on there. We kind of use the throttle and just have to be ginger with it. Alright, we got us a, uh, a lap in. That's about what I've been running. Actually, that's much better than I've been running. Whoa, 411. I've been hitting 413s. I will definitely take that. Uh, my optimal is a little bit better, but I don't expect to hit that. Also, I don't normally shift a first there. I gave it a try. Didn't really like it though. I thought I was going to get a better runoff. And I wanted to try it since we're just qualifying here, but not really feeling it. But that's okay. Glad I tried it. I don't think it lost me anything. I think it was just more difficult to control for a second and about the same speed, so kind of pointless. Fortunately, we have, we've been beat. Here I thought I had a decent time, and then 
Matthias is gonna go ahead and beat me immediately, and so I'm the slowest that's put a lap in. Oh wait, there's one. Okay. So, I've got work to do. Still got speed. I need to get out of this thing. If I could put it together, I'd have myself a nice lap. The, like I said, the optimal's down there at 409, but haven't been even really near able to do that. That 411 was like two seconds better than the previous best I'd had. Which I still need a lot more uh, experience out here. Got another next gen coming up with Billy. Oh, hopefully he uh, he'll be able to catch and pass us on the straight. Stay to the left. Nice. Alright, hey, maybe get some draft here even. That'll help us out. A little tougher to get it slowed down with that little extra speed. Maybe that was just in my head. But it feels like the little extra speed I had from the draft made it harder to get it slowed down as much as I needed. We're going to go ahead and switch to Session Optimal, I think. Because that's what we're going to be aiming for. Trying to get the best lap we can. In fact, maybe I'll switch it to Session best, just so we know exactly what we need. I do feel like I could gain some through here. Push a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. I definitely had some more speed to gain through there. Oh, almost spun it. Let me be honest. So let's, uh. Session best. There we go. Let's see what we can do. That lap was not as good. It's my first attempt. Oh, we got someone going off. Does not affect us. Maybe it would be worth to going, uh, getting fresh tires again, I wonder. Did not mean to shift. That is not a time to shift. Okay, first time I've done that. I'm lucky I didn't spin it because of my forgetfulness. Can't be doing that. I mean a gateway whenever I shifted at the wrong time. Bad habits. That's a different situation, though. That was a double shift. A gateway. Did not mean to do that. Here, I was just brain dead because I'm new to this course and shifted down an extra time. I think after this lap we'll get some fresh tires, maybe? Oh wait, never mind, it's about to end. In fact, we can't even finish this lap, can we? Oh well. I didn't realize time flew by so quickly. That's totally fine. 
we will uh, just continue getting some experience, because that's really what I need more than anything. There's still people out here, so it's not like everyone's waiting on me. That would have been embarrassing. If I was out here thinking I'm going to finish a lap and everyone's just waiting for me to realize I can't get the lap in. There's that checkered flag. That's time is just about up. Yeah, I agree. Good split of car numbers. I re it's really cool that we got uh, a nice variety wasn't sure if everybody was going to choose the truck or you know, everyone was going to go cup car driving. But it's a really nice uh, even spread, which is cool to see. I'm feeling good, though. I got lots of practice. I'll uh, be eating my words about feeling good as soon as I slide off the track and smash into a wall. <laughs> but, uh, feeling okay. Much better than I did to start the day. Buying the track. We will need to pit, of course, being 24 laps around here. Very long laps. So hopefully we can uh, get that down as well and get that correct. Ooh, ooh, I'm catching it. Don't do that. We're just going to go ahead and park it. Ready to raise. Alright. So I think it's like finishing up, letting people finish their laps, I guess. So I could have finished that lap. But I guess I'm okay. Taking a look here at everybody that's chosen to drive a truck today. Nick and his dad, two of them. Tyler as well, and then of course Matthias with his great lap, almost a full second faster. Let's take a look at the other cars. We've got the Xfinity Series drivers, a couple of names we recognize, and those who are going cup racing, including Gavin. Gavin without a time put in, I wonder if he intended to, or if... Uh, He's choosing to start in the back. 0x, so it's not like he went out there and got a 1x or something. He might have uh, purposely start, chose to start from the back. Not a bad idea, just to be patient. So, Nick says, Reminder, single file, start, long race, be smart, lots of time to race. All good points. As for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Stop the recording and then come back to you whenever the race starts. So I will rejoin when it's time to go. All right, we are back and we are going to jump right in to our truck to get on the grid. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. Pit Got road everything close. prepared. I didn't have Q tape on it or anything, so. Uh, just hopping right into the truck, same state as it was before. We're going to look at... Hmm. I guess we'll look at all-time optimal. Just try to hit some good laps. Estimated eight laps of fuel, which is going to be interesting because that's pretty close. Hit at 8.16 and then make it to the end. So it could be a two-stop race, but... You know, we're going to have to stretch it a little bit to make it that full eight laps. We're going to be uh, saving a little bit of fuel as we're 
Uh, ramping up. The air temp is 77 Fahrenheit. Get this thing started. I believe they are going to be leaving some space Follow between classes. So the next gen is going to start rolling up there. And then I imagine the uh, Xfinity should wait. Are we not leaving space? Maybe not? Okay, we are. You guys might want to leave a gap. Yeah. Yeah, I thought we were going to start single file, but it looks like not. Interesting. Okay. So we'll just uh, be smart, be patient. I'm going to uh, just keep a good eye on the 99 here on our left. We start in single or a double pile? Single pile start. It's weird because it's saying uh, to stay behind the 03, but that's not exactly. I'm pretty sure he wants the classes to leave a gap to the next class, Xfinity cars. Yeah. So we're getting it sorted out, I guess. The idea is to leave a gap between the different uh, classes, so that way we're not tripping over each other, Get ready, going doing going. our own races. Hey, look at those planes up there. That's cool. I'm new to this track. I've never seen that before. I thought I heard Jeff okay, flying over that. It is so cool. Yeah, I was just yeah, looking at that. Flat. All right, so we are off. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty sweet. The next car's the Alright. Nice easy start. Everyone gave lots of room. That's really appreciated. So, going for real now. Looks like we are doing good on our eight laps of fuel. Okay, let's find a good rhythm. Make some places. Gonna be try uh, trying to be nice with the rear tires as much as I can. We're uh, gonna have to be on them for a while. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. That's a little scary. Something might have happened up here. Car stopped on the right. Stopped on the right. Go left. Uh, that's unfortunate. Already some danger. Already some uh, carnage. Not what you want to see already. But most likely time for it to happen is when everyone's bunched up, I imagine, so. We'll have a little bit of draft here. So I've got to make sure I break early enough. Already seeing some Xfinity cars up there. We could end up catching them. We'll be faster on the straightaways, but we might be faster going through corners. I make sure I'm noticing my uh, braking markers. It's easy to miss them. This is exciting. I think this is going to be a fun race. Caught uh, 
Matthias ahead just a bit. He's about half a second. Tyler's still hanging in there though, about a second back. Long way to go. It's going to be all about being consistent. He got through there a lot faster. It seems like uh, we were pretty slow through there. Might have to pick up the pace a little bit through that sector. Bit of a tricky spot, so remaining focused through there. Really caught up to him there, but I think it's because he was maybe checking up for the Xfinity car ahead. Real easy on throttle here. You get pretty unsettled through those hilly sections. We gained a bit on Tyler back there. He's about three seconds back now. And approaching some more Xfinity cars, it looks like. Spinny, a little loose as we slow the truck down. We're okay. It's nice to have some draft to help me keep up a bit. It's only a small effect, but a little faster down the straightaway doesn't hurt at all. Be smart getting around some guys here if we do catch them. It's looking like we will. A little extra cautious on the throttle. Maybe that'll pay off later with the rear tires, or maybe no, I'm just being right. a little, a little baby, <laughs> not being aggressive enough on the that gas pedal. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I just found this track and qualifying, so. Wow, he waited till qualifying to learn this track. That's crazy. I'm still very hesitant. Then. Uh oh. Xfinity car off a little bit. He's okay though. I thought they were heading for the wall. Did 
be a tricky situation because they will be they will be faster on the straightaway. Easy now. I could definitely see doing some damage to the rear tires through that section. I think uh, it could be a good place to take it easy, not throttle up too much, even if it's tempting. here. Speaking of right here, next gen behind us is right there. But be careful of that. Don't know why he's sticking his nose. Probably not a good time to try to overtake. He's already wrecked too. Bye now. Clear on the right. Alright, that's fine. Get him by us. Get that over with. You should follow somebody besides me so you can learn something. <laughs> nah, I'm learning. It does help having someone to follow for sure. That's pretty much a universal I feeling. People following, following people on road courses. It always just seems to help hit your marks. I certainly agree. Right up to the back of him there. Caught him through that sector. No need to be aggressive at all though. Lots of time to go. So we'll give him plenty of space. How are we doing on fuel? Are we uh, doing okay? I think we're doing fine. Say we got about five laps of fuel left. Yeah, should be on target to pit on lap eight, I believe. Infinity car ahead? Oh, I really could have uh, gone through that exit a little quicker. Gained a lot of time on us. Getting a little sideways. Careful now. Spinny's just gonna let us go. 
Ooh. All right, half a second back from our class leader. Seen any mistakes from him yet? It's always going to be difficult to overtake someone if they're not making mistakes. So we'll uh, we'll just try to keep putting the pressure on him, see what happens. He's definitely better than us in some sections, and then I'm able to get up on him on others. Could be helped out by the draft too. That might be the only reason I'm able to keep up with him. Got 10 seconds back, the third. Tyler must have had a mistake at some point to fall that far back. That's too bad. Watch for my braking marker, don't want to miss that. Oh shoot. That was he was harder on the brakes than I expected there. I slid them a little bit. It's all of a sudden he was hitting the brakes. He said sorry. It's <laughs> that's alright. Can I type this out in time? Probably not. I really gotta focus on driving. I can't really be typing out, but it is okay, of course. He may have gotten on the brakes a little harder than uh, he anticipated necessary, but I gotta be ready. I can't just run into the back of him, even if he decides to brake a little bit earlier. It's on me as the following car. To follow at a safe distance, so we were able to avoid getting into him, that's good. He always smokes me out of this corner. Is there anything I can do about that? I don't know, maybe I need to stay in second gear there. He's rolling through there so well. Getting closer to pit stop time, but that's pretty relative. Considering it's four laps away and laps aren't made the same here. Le Mans. <laughs> Le Mans. We're pretty uh, consistent right along with him. It seems like we end every lap about a half second behind.
Well, we got a good run through there compared to him, but it's going to be enough to do anything with. Do we want to do anything with it? I don't feel like we're much faster. We'll break early here. Uh, I don't think it's time to make a move. Stay close. Keep the pressure on. I'd rather see if I can make a make a mistake first. We got so much time to spare. I don't think we need to fight side by side. If I can pressure him into a mistake, that's a much better way, I think. And he's so much better in certain other sectors. Just getting into a fight right now is not going to benefit either of us. Yeah, he, he, this is where I hit the brakes a little early last time. Or at least I felt like he did. Maybe I was heading in too hot. But I was being a little cautious on entry just in case. He still beat me through that corner, I feel like. I did better that time, for sure, but it still feels like he's pulled away. I really should try to keep it in second one of these laps, but it's... I, it's hard to break the habit. Get so used to doing something one way. Oh, this is the corner. Never mind. It was this corner where he's much better. Yeah, never mind. That's the corner that we need to stand second, I think. Sorry, two very similar corners where you both have to shift down to first, or at least I've kind of uh, gotten used to doing that. I got through there pretty good. A little bit closer this time. Instead of half a second, we got point three. It's just a normal ebb and flow of the race, though, I think really significant to be gained or to be uh, interpreted there I think is that a cutting might have got cutting no I didn't okay I got pretty close to grabbing those uh, yellow little markers on the ground too much He's certainly not letting the pressure get to him. So we've been on him for a couple laps now. Pretty much since the start. <laughs> Don't wait too long. Find that gap. Easy now on the throttle. Almost got a little bit throttle happy. Don't want to spin this thing out.
Hopefully everyone's having themselves a good race. Pretty quiet on the mic, but it takes a lot of focus, so that makes sense. Overall leaders, the 21. Solo, I don't recognize him. Gavin there in third, though. I do recognize him. Patrick in second. Don't want to gloss over. Another good runner. I can't look at that too long, though. I about nearly missed my breaking point. Because I'm looking at that instead of the road. What I did want to take a look at that real quick. I'm losing time because I'm looking at all that. So let me get back to it. Coming up on Jake in the Xfinity car, who has said that the Xfinity in first gear, not his favorite, <laughs> apparently. I don't know how he's typing while driving. I can barely talk while driving, so let's get the keyboard out. But here's where I'm supposed to be trying to experiment with second gear. It's, just, it's so hard to remember. He's just He's kicking our butts again out of the out of the exit there. It's it's a good like three tenths every time. Real slow through here all of a sudden. Alright, kind of got me messed up a little bit. Can't run in the back of them. I almost shifted there when I'm not supposed to. That would have been bad. I think we might have to take that run. Maybe not. Okay, kind of stalled out. Just having trouble seeing. I didn't want to be like right behind him. Still early. I gotta keep perspective. Two laps of fuel left, that should be enough to get us around one more time to lap eight, and then pit then. entering the pits right along with the leader pits not a guarantee either green flag pit stops cuz got like an extra chicane to do interestingly enough oh first mistake I've seen I think out of them Stay close to 
Can't do anything from it though. Just spin the tires up. We are gonna take four tires, I believe. And of course, full fuel. Second gear. Remember to shift it back. That didn't help. That didn't help at all. That was worse. I think he might just be protecting his rear tires better in general and can launch out of there a little better, maybe. Or maybe he just ma maintains more momentum through that corner than I do. I gotta work on that, though. So I am losing quite a bit there. Just haven't quite figured out how to, how to do it yet. My bad, Josh. All good, buddy. Oh, interesting situation. Xfinity car ahead. Get a little bit slower. Wasn't trying to pass him or anything. I was just kind of having trouble figuring out where he was going. We're all kind of getting stuck on each other. Okay, mate, watch for a mistake. Okay, hold it. It's a faster class car approaching. Ooh, all right, pitting in this lap. Coming to the pits at the end of this lap. Box this lap. Had to hit the brakes for him a bit. I'm a little bit faster through there. It's just how it works, though. He's better than me in plenty of other corners. Kind of getting held up here by Xfinity, but that's just uh, that's just multi-class. That's how it works. Because he's obviously faster in straightaways. So even if he lets us by, he's just going to be... Uh, He's doing by again, and he's uh, he's in third place in his class, so it's not like he's laps down or anything. So this is just a uh, product of multi-class, something we have to deal with. Lap of fuel left. That's all right. We're coming in this lap. Hope I don't mess it up. Trying to get a good view so I can see my braking point. They're pretty good. I'm happy with that. Number two back there, 12 and a half seconds back. I haven't really been looking, but maybe I should keep an eye on that. Maybe he's fast and will gain time as this thing goes on. There's plenty of time to do it.
Man, I am just spinning the tires while he's driving off. I must just be too hard on the rears. And it affects me there because I have to go down into first gear. I'm just going to stay behind him. He can be a good brake marker for the pit stop. <laughs> Don't speed, don't speed. Klein is leading the race. Brown behind ten. is pitting. Five, three, two, one. Right here. Kind of weird. It feels like we're super close to the garage over there. 9390. All right. Looks like four tires for everybody. Move it, move it. Come out right where we were. Your pit exit looks clear. The car behind you, Pity. I gotta remember how much grip we got again. Got some more speed in this thing. Gotta be careful too, because the tires are cold again, so that's another thing to consider. Oh, is that slow down? Oh, that was really close. I can't be cutting it that close. That easily could have been a slowdown. Alright, that was that went pretty well. I think the two behind us had a faster pit stop. Gained a couple seconds. Still gotta keep an eye on him. Moving to the right. Is that the defensive line or is he letting me go? Not sure. Never mind. Our next turn is to the left. I am an idiot. Can you tell I'm new to this track? It's probably like, why is he driving over to my left? Is he gonna dive it on me? <laughs> no, I'm just stupid. And uncultured. We established this. <laughs> you got a toy car on the right. Ooh, interesting. Jake pulling over to the side there. Maybe got to slow down? I think that is the case, because he is... Yep. He's gassing it back up. I'm trying to figure out how to get through there faster. Nearly give myself another cutting penalty, though. I was trying to get, like, a, a tighter apex. 
see if that would do anything for me, but cut it a bit too much. Oh my goodness, I nearly put it off the course. That was a scary moment. I got a little bit loose there. Still hanging in there. Seeing if I can get a nose on him, not quite. Still just hoping for a mistake, but it's not coming. We're not even halfway yet, so I still have to keep that in mind. I don't have to make anything happen or anything like that. Faster traffic approaching. Remember, there's a left-hander coming up this time. We're good. Make sure I can see my braking marker. I'm looking for the sign on the, on the right side over there. Faster car coming up quick. Oh, got sideways. That was scary. That was scary, scary, scary. I'm trying to get more. I'm get, trying to get too much. I'm, I'm just testing to see where I can get my best runs and pushing. It's kind of getting me in a bit of a slidey situation sometimes. So I should probably take it a little easier. He's talking about Jake back there, faster traffic. He probably is going to catch us again, I think. He should be several tenths faster every straightaway. I'll have to make sure I'm holding my line. Ooh, he had a bit of a rough corner there. Faster traffic approaching. So I've heard about this faster traffic. He's really good through the exit of that S. I hit I hit that pretty well and he still was faster. Faster 
Faster traffic approaching. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of that, aren't we? We'll be hearing a lot about that faster traffic approaching for a while. Hey, the fastest lap, cool. My fastest lap, anyway. Ooh. <laughs> we got the nose on him for a second. Make him think, maybe. It's... <sighs> Still early, I think, to be doing anything. Not even halfway, so... We'll just hang in here. I don't think this is a great spot to be passing anyway. Even if I do get a run right there, like, I don't know if you want to be too wide through that sector. Ooh, 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 easy, easy. Okay. A little bit hard on the throttle. Stay close. Having ourselves a very fun endurance race. Doing enough pushing, just trying to keep up with them, that it's certainly uh, feeling intense enough. Uh, I, I really blew it there. I just don't have any momentum going through those corners, like through first gear and stuff. Definitely a weak point. And there he goes. Maybe it's just a setup thing. Maybe he's just got a better first gear or something. He's got a different ratio. A traffic jam there. Oh. Ooh, that felt good. Got through there really well. Very happy with that. Oh, I overdrove that. Ooh! Yikes! Okay, we're good though. <laughs> overdrove that last sector a bit. Nearly got myself out of whack, but pulled it back in. And we continue on as if nothing happened. The car in P3 just set the faster flat. Four minutes, nine point eight five six. Right back on him. Uh oh. A little bit off, off line. Second, it looked like.
Just about to finish halfway once we finish this lap. We'll have to remember we're coming in for fuel once again on lap 16. away from Jake back there a little bit which uh, at least for my uh, frustrations is nice because I don't have to hear we've got a faster class coming up <laughs> you have about five laps of fuel left we do here? Head up on him. Not interested yet. I wonder where I do want to be trying to pass, though. Man, I just... He flies through there. I think he's braver on exit. He's just willing to go near the uh, grass over there, and uh, he's able to just fly through the... Uh, that, that tight corner, so much better. A little bit of a little bit of wheel hop. Don't do that. That's not good for it. Just shifted a bit early. Down to first. It didn't overdrive this area this time. Last time I got a little bit over aggressive into there. Good. Okay, Colton. We're the leader is running for four minutes. Point nine eight five. Oh, we got a new leader, the 24, up there. This past Marcelo. They're having a pretty close battle. About a four second gap. So that's got to be a fun one. By the way, 0x so far. I'm probably jinxing myself, but I'm pretty proud of that, having just bought this track today. Practice for like an hour, hour and a half. I 
I knew just staying on the track was going to be important, so... I've been able to do it so far. If I do want to try to pass him here at any point, when am I going to do it? I don't know where the best passing place would be. Seems like every braking zone is just this huge braking zone that's going to be dangerous to try to do anything. Good second gear there. That actually wasn't so bad. Still pulls away, of course. And I did hear him in first gear, so I think first gear is the way to go. Alright, I tried going wider there. I think I got a better run that time than I usually do. He's still better, but I feel like that wasn't quite as disastrous for me as usual. It's usually like 0.8 by now after that corner. Ooh, little uh, light on throttle. Be careful. I don't know, I just feel like we're so equal on speed. I don't think, I feel like, while we have our strengths and our weaknesses throughout the whole road course, I feel like it evens out by the time we get to the start-finish line. I don't know if I can even say faster. I mean, I get through a part like this, and I've been hitting it better, but there are other spots that's killing me. And so what do I do? I, even if I pass him, this it's not going to be a done deal. Oh, okay, easy now. <laughs> Nearly spun it. That was sideways enough it probably came across on video. Felt myself getting a good run, and I was like, how much can I get out of this? And I uh, tried to take more than it was willing to give, I guess. Well, we're going to be coming to 10 to go at the end of this lap. Still a while to go, as it is. Look at Gavin in fourth. He's having himself a good run in the next gen. I'm trying to go wider on exit. And it didn't work there, though.
thought maybe keeping it wider on exit would help me get more speed through there. It did not work. It works better there than it does at the other spot. At least it seems that way. Because I feel like I'm getting through there a little bit better than I have in uh, previous laps by trying to keep the wheel a little straighter. Exit. Ooh, we had a little bit of trouble here in the asses. I just hit it well, I don't know. Okay, mate, watch for a mistake. Got some people on pit road. It's interesting. Here's that ten to go call. cut? I didn't cut. Okay. I got a little bit too close to the right side over there. I gotta be honest, I think if I had been pressured this whole time, like I've been pressuring him, I would have made a mistake like 30 times by now. I don't have that ability to just keep my eyes forward and hit my marks. I'm just being real. <laughs> He's doing a great job. Dang it. Shoot, I messed that up. Not what I was hoping for. We'll get a bit of a gap as uh, he gets the better run down the lawn straight away. Got a bigger gap than he's had in a while now. Had a couple of bad corners. So I'm saying, man, I, I've been able to keep up right behind him, but I don't think I'm actually much faster. I think we're just super even. Hitting this lap, but it'll be next lap we come in. Ah, 
I messed that up. <laughs> Crutes, you've given me bad ideas as usual. Come on, just send it. Yeah, great idea. Oh, a couple of people leaving. It's interesting. I wonder if they had an accident. Settled, didn't like that. It might just be draft that's making that's allowing me to keep up with them to be honest. That's starting to become apparent, I think. Considering he's pulling away. Oh, that's interesting. We got some trucks coming up lap traffic. Just now noticed that. Alright, hit my marks there. That's good. Trying to get some of this time back. I see he gapped us just a bit. Eighty-one on the left side up there. Go to his right. Good spot to catch him. No trouble at all. Easy. Got on the throat a little bit hard there again. Stay close. There might be a chance here. Brought it back to about point four. Allen, bit of a tricky spot. This is going to be embarrassing when I mess up pit entry. We found an opportunity. It was a little bit dangerous. Maybe too aggressive. 
But I took it, and now we gotta get into our pit stall. See if we can do anything with it. Three, two, one. Right here. Almost slipped past my box. That would have been embarrassing. 9389, I was worse that time on the rear. Alright, can we get out ahead still? That's it, go. Hope so. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. Oh boy. What happens now? Is he just gonna blow past us again? It's the first time in a long time I have not had the benefit of somebody in front of me to judge off of. Judge my uh, racing. Be nice to get a gap if we can. He's gonna have his R draft though. That was the final pit stop. I cut too much. I cut too much. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. It's not good. Oh, that's not good. We're able to maintain the lead for now. Is he going to be alongside us, though? Yeah. Stay on the left. Dang it. I went and blew it. Okay, he's backing off. That's good. Russ. Oh, man. I had a bit of a gap, and I threw it away. Getting that, uh... Slow down penalty. Remember what I was saying before about how there's no way I would have kept composure? Had someone been following me? Yeah. We're about to see it, <laughs> I think. Deep breaths, we just gotta make a couple laps. Around here. Get our lines. Man, he's really good through there. Right up on us still. Six to go, I believe. Seven, maybe? Oh, man, where's my internet bad? No. No. Do it. No bad internet. The 
Oh my god, don't, internet. I've been here too long for it to just blink out or something here. Okay, it might be good. That's a distraction I don't need. I like uh, the 1.3 we have right now. If we're able to minimize the amount of draft help he'll have, that would be great. A truck coming up. We'll have to make our way around. Oh, my internet. I hate that it's yellow right now. I hope I'm not blinking. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, catching him. Okay, spot. Matthias got by him just fine. I was wondering if he was going to catch him in a bad spot, but no, I think he gained on me right there, so... So much for that. Oh man, he caught right back up to me. Point six back there. I cut right up to me there. Did that better than I did. Pushing so hard through there, and he's just maintaining even. We're both driving really hard, I think, unless it just comes real easy to him. For me, though, this is not easy maintaining the pace I'm doing right now. Ooh, fastest lap of the session. Uh. Well, proof that I'm doing my darndest right now, I guess. Oh, I we drove that really bad. Okay, lost my uh, handle on it for a second. Good, I guess. Obviously lost some time, that's not good, but... Figured it out.
I need to stop cutting that so close. And give myself another slowdown. Just overdrive it, that's cool. God, I'm a mess. He's looking. I'm not giving it up. <laughs> Alright, clear him again. I need to stop making mistakes though. That's for darn sure. Oh no, he made a mistake. Two seconds. Something happened. Okay, that might be the big break we needed. I swear, he has not made a major mistake this entire race. He's been racing so incredibly well. So I have to take advantage of that. And make that gap stay. Easy now, easy now. Five to go. Five. Five to go. I have to drive like he's still right up on me. Because uh, if I don't, he will be <laughs> as soon as I let my guard down. Drove this last time, let's not do it again. Back it down, hit the apex. Get through here. Sorry, man. I'm just so focused, I don't even know what to say. I just gotta make sure I'm hitting my marks. Car is getting loose under me. Felt like I spun the tires up a bit there. Two point three back. He should still be getting draft, but it's definitely minimized compared to what it's usually been. I think he got through there much better. Yikes.
2.1, 2.0. Alright, you get a better run through there. Been so bad to the rear tires this run. I've been just driving as hard as possible the whole time, and that might end up hurting me by the end of this run. I'm a little concerned about that. sideways okay take it easy fast but smooth internet's pooping again god dang it <laughs> stop it to do to get some good internet around here. Go, go, he's catching up again. Man, every time I feel like I hit something decent, I look back, he's gained a couple more tenths. Oh, man. Oh, no, I got Major loose. No! That's going to give it all back. He's definitely been so much more consistent this race. He's got a huge run. Left side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Car on your left. Clear. Oh, you got around me again. I had the gap. I blew it. But we're still here. There's the leader of the next gens on our relative. 
I don't know if he's going to catch us by the end of this thing, though. We are coming down to it. But I will have to watch that gap. Oh, I've never hit that before. Okay, that was scary. <laughs> never hit that at that angle before. Let me not do it again, either. That was not fun. so funny how there's certain parts of the track that were just so opposite. I'm just going to make him work hard. I'm going to do my best holding my line out here, but I want to make him think. <laughs> that was not good. Just trying. Just trying something. He's breaking the draft now. It's getting serious. Uh, I think he's better. I gotta be honest. I think he's better. Try to take advantage of certain circumstances. The only reason I got around him before was from lap traffic. I don't know. We're coming to two to go. Man, I'm so close, but... I mean, the fact is, he caught us from two seconds back and then passed us. That doesn't happen unless <laughs> you're faster.
Oh, spinning the tires up. Yeah, I think these tires, these rear tires are going to be the death of me. I used to get a really good run on them through there, and now it's just spinning them up. Might have to just put the nose on him again. At this point, you just... You gotta try to make something happen, I think. He's going defensive. Nothing going on there. Hanging on, still point three. Coming to that sharp right hander. You've been caught by the faster class cars. Faster traffic approaching. Oh wow, the next gen did reach us. Okay. They're right here. We have to hold our line. Still, they still got a little bit of ways. Oh boy, this is a little interesting. Okay, he should be able to pass us just fine right here. Go around. What is he doing? Don't bump me. About him. Stay between the lines. You're losing on the current round two. The gap is three point nine. Four point two seconds. Shoot. There goes our chance. That sucks. One mistake, all race. Slow car ahead. You got a slow car on the left. Cast off on the right. Podium finish. Nice one. All right. You wait There's to celebrate plan. until people are done? Jesus. Nice run. Solid work. <sighs> Whatever. It's my own fault. I let the uh I was too worried about the guy behind.
Sorry. <laughs> Forgot the H. <laughs> Make sure I get his name right. But, uh, yeah, that was great. We uh, gave it our best. He was definitely faster, I think. Uh, we just made the one mistake the whole darn time. Where did my second one come from? Oh, because I had to avoid the guy doing his burnout. Okay. But well done to him. That was That was a lot of fun. Definitely earned it. I wish I could have at least kept it 0x to the end, but I just uh, I got distracted by the guy behind and uh, him bump drafting me for some reason. So I was looking back there trying to figure out if he was wanting to pass, like he was irritated that I was in his lane. So, uh, what happened with these other ones? We got Patrick there with the win. It sounds like Gavin and Billy probably had a great battle. I'll brag about that. I'll do it. Because <laughs> I bought this freaking track today. And uh, I feel pretty good about having done that. Keeping it on track. So, you know what? That was, uh, that was a fantastic race. To be able to pull it in P2, feeling pretty good. So... Alright, I'm not going to do incidents, I don't think. Um, there's there's going to be way too much to see, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, we just started making a couple of little mistakes here and there. And uh, for me, it was uh, just enough. He gets 0x in the whole time. How am I supposed to pass someone who has 0x a whole freaking <laughs> 24 laps here? That's wild. Two hours of racing, no, not a single zero X. Awesome, awesome drive to him. Uh, Dylan, disgusted with himself, had a B class one. Sounds like. Says he threw it away. He still gets P two though. Jordan will get the win in his class. So I guess that'll do it here for this one. Um, like I said, probably not going to bother with the uh, incidents. Lot, way too much racing to go, and I'm sure this video is long enough already. Thank you for sticking with me on that one. That was an excellent race. Some great endurance racing action in that one. And uh, I'm happy with how I did, even if I made a couple mistakes at the end. So I appreciate you. Thanks for watching again, and I will see you next time. See ya.